I briefly considered actually recording a video showing my face and everything for this particular update. And then I went, no, you are currently recovering from a sunburn and you are now at the gross stage of the sunburn, which is when the dead skin is starting to come off. You don't need to see that. So we're keeping the camera off and I'm just going to be doing the huge talking to you with the sultry sounds of my voice over top a drawing process of some sort. So, couple things. I had promised last week a reading from the first 10 or so pages of Fuishishi. I actually have some developments about this book project. First of all, the good news, the grant came through. So I now have an accelerator grant from the Toledo Arts Commission. Thank you, Toledo Arts Commission. Greatly appreciate it. We will be making steps to get this book to print. That said, there's a pretty decent window of time before getting this to print, which is good because there's a couple things still that I got to take care of. The other thing too is I had mentioned last week that there were like three other books like two or three other books that were happening at the same time. So having considered that and the timeline for the grant and everything, I have a follow-up announcement, which is this. One, this is the summer of books. <laughs> so July, August, and September will have one book for each month that is happening. So for this first month, for July, which is the month we're in right now as of this recording, the Universal Flaws of Robotics is coming to Kickstarter on Sunday, July 14th. There's a promotional trailer out for it already from Canon Wright Productions. I'll have a link to that down in the description. Check that out. It's actually a really nice trailer. Ben did a really good job on it. It's almost like he went to school for film before he became a cartoonist or something. Wild. <laughs> Um, to Ben, if you're watching this, shout out to you, my man. Anyway, Universal Flaws of Robotics is coming to Kickstarter. We're going to be doing the Kickstarter for that one first. Then in August, we're going to do a Kickstarter for New Punk Signal. New Punk Signal is a sequel to my long running webcomic validation that I co-created with CB. Uh, New Punk Signal is a sequel slash spinoff because it follows the two resident himbos of the story, Mike and Steve. They both start their own little side hustles, but then the pandemic hits and they have to figure out how to best work with their communities online and off with factoring into the pandemic in the equation. That's the premise of the story. It was a online newsletter webcomic, meaning I only publish the newest pages on my email newsletter. And now we're going to be collecting all of those comic strips into one book. But that book is happening in August. September is when we'll focus on Fushishi, the novella that I wrote. So we're spacing this out for a couple reasons, but the big one being, I have done Kickstarter campaigns before where they overlapped with each other. It was not a fun experience. <laughs> the last time that I had Kickstarter campaigns overlapping with each other was back in 2021. I had a hand in Canon Wright's Kickstarter for what the gnomes know back then. And I was running my own campaign for The Legend of Jamie Roberts, Volume 2. And I was doing some fulfillments for a previous Kickstarter campaign that Never Ending had run. So it was like all three of those were happening at the same time. It was very stressful. I do not recommend working on multiple campaigns at the same time if you can help it. Please don't do that to yourself. <sighs> yeah, nowadays I don't even have the... And I don't even have the energy for like two campaigns overlapping at the same time, much less three. 
that's why we're going to be doing this one campaign at a time. <laughs> so, having said that, I will say the Universal Flaws of Robotics, our first book project in tandem with Canon Wright Productions, this book is going to have the highest asking goal. So, if you can help spread the word for this particular Kickstarter campaign, that would help us help us out immensely. I'm going to have a link to that campaign down in the description. It's as of this recording, and probably by the time that this goes live, it will not be open yet, but you can sign up for notifications. That's why I have the link. Again, campaign launches July 14th, this Sunday, upcoming Sunday, as of this recording. Launching on Sunday, and we're going to be promoting the heck out of this thing. I'm in talks with the crew of Canon right to help host interview like streams live streams to talk with some of the new contributors of canon right uh we're talking new because we've done two anthology projects before and i've helped run interviews with those kickstarter runs so this is not anything new for me but we do have some new contributors for universal flaws of robotics so very much looking forward to having sit down one-on-one -on -one live stream chats with them. Is this going to affect literally everything else that I do? We'll see. I'm still going to be making appearances with the Columbus Cartoon Coalition on their YouTube channel. I have a link to them down in the description. So those live streams usually happen like every other Wednesday for me if I am involved. Uh, it also depends on the topic. Like, by the time that you watch this, I will have hosted a talk about how to run a newsletter. Because I've been running a online newsletter since, I want to say 2014 or 2015. Almost a decade by this point. My email newsletter is the thing that I have operated the longest. And... It has been the thing that has carried me over any time that I have shifted away from one social media platform to another one. And it is especially handy now that social media is definitely undergoing a shift. <laughs> we'll just say that. Um, anyway, email newsletter is the best place to get updates from me. I'll have a link to my newsletter down in the description. I only send mine out once a week on Fridays. I do have a special newsletter that is only for folks who pledge on Kofi, but the general public only gets one email newsletter from me and that's on Fridays. So anyway, that's the email newsletter portion. We just talked about universal flaws of robotics a bit. I might just keep this video kind of short, which is wild to say, considering there was one a while back that was like 45 minutes long. The one that I did last week was like 25 minutes long. But honestly, I have a lot going on this weekend. Um, I recently joined the Cartoonist Co-op, and there's been a lot happening on the Cartoonist Co-op. So that's been keeping me busy. Also, preparing for the Universal Flaws of Robotics to launch on Kickstarter has been keeping me busy. I've been writing so many press releases uh, and also preparing so many promotional images and posting on so many past Kickstarter campaigns to be like, new campaign, check it out. Because <laughs> um, that's a pro tip for my fellow comic artists out there who maybe have some previous crowdfunding campaigns under your belt. Anytime that you launch a new one, post an update on your old campaign saying, hey, I have a new campaign out. Here's a link. You'll get a lot of hits that way, I promise. Um, also, if you have an email newsletter, email newsletters are a really good way to let folks know when you have new books coming out, including when you have new Kickstarters coming out. So there you go. Hot tip for you. Okay. Oh, right. I was talking about changes to the schedule or anything. I'm going to still try to do Thursday YouTube videos, keep y'all posted on everything. 
Legend of Jamie Roberts updates, those aren't going to change. I have those scheduled out like a month in advance. Uh, Vanita and the Demon King webcomic updates also have those scheduled about a month in advance. We're fine. Those are fine. So, other than that, I've been working on some other stuff behind the scenes, like some new stickers. I have some print ideas. There's also another anthology that I'm making a two-page informational short for, but that's all I can really say about that. I mean, I haven't signed any contracts, but I also want to keep that on the down low because I want to double check when that anthology is slated to come out to print because it might be a bit. Don't know. I have to double check a few things. <laughs> um, but I've been working on that as well. I'm trying to keep myself busy, but... Yeah, there, let's just say there's some other stuff happening behind the scenes and I'm trying to line stuff up to make sure that rent is paid on time and that groceries are covered and that my internet bill is covered and everything else. So we're working on it. We're working on it. Um, I've also been applying for some other freelance gigs. I haven't applied for a freelance gig for a long while. And I'm debating whether I want to pitch to agents. But the thing is, is that, you know that little voice in your head? Because you have, everybody has this voice. There's this little voice in your head that's like, oh, why would you even try? You're not good enough and they're just going to say no anyway. That voice, that voice has been very active for the last week or so in my head. And I really want it to shut the fuck up already. <laughs> Because, like, here's the thing, and this is something that I have to tell myself. If Iron Circus Comics was willing to give me a chance and publish my short story in Failure to Launch, which is out now, by the way, I'll have a link for information about that anth anthology down in the description. It's amazing. Uh, I also did a YouTube short talking about... Uh, that anthology because my comp copies arrived on my doorstep and I gave it a flip through. It's gorgeous. But if Iron Circus Comics was willing to give me a chance for my short story and it was a great experience all around for me, like if they were willing to do that, then I should submit my pitches to agents and send out queries and just get my work out there because I think I am at a point now where previously like for the last like 10 years that I've been doing comics as as a job previously anytime that I submitted my work to folks and was told no I would assume that it was because my art was not up to par now I'm like well my art is up to par because a major indie comics publisher was willing to carry my work. And also, Canyon Wright Productions is another anthology project that I've been involved with as a short story contributor and as an editor. So, like, my work is now up to par, I think. So that little voice in my head that's like, you're not good enough, why even bother? They're just going to tell you no. I'm like, I feel like this is factually incorrect. <laughs> but I won't know until I submit my work for consideration to these places. So I just have to convince myself to actually do this stuff. Until then, um, before I forget... Uh, new rewards have come out for members of my Kofi shop. And I'm mostly mentioning this because, hey, anything that you can give also helps with making sure that I can eat my sandwiches. <laughs> but anyway, new rewards are available for members of my Kofi shop. Uh, so if you would like to get zines and stickers and mini prints mailed to you each month, head to Kofi.com slash Kelsey D. Crawford. I'll have, I'll have a link down in the description as well. Um, five bucks a month will get you a new zine and sticker mailed to you each month. And $10 a month gets you a zine, a sticker, and a mini print. And the mini prints are four by six inches. The 
zines. You get one digital zine and one physical zine. Uh, and the sticker changes every month. I mean, everything changes every month, but still, there you go. There's options. I also have an online shop uh, featuring some past club rewards as well as stuff that I often take to conventions. So a lot of it is like excess convention stock that I have sitting around that if you would like to give it a good, <coughs> excuse me, if you'd like to give it a good home, please do. I am not cutting that out. <laughs> We're keeping it honest. There we go. I had to drink from my uh, pink disco coconut. I got this pink disco coconut. I call it my lesbian disco coconut because it's it looks like it's colored with the lesbian pride colors. But I got it at Michael's. And I love drinking water out of this thing. I probably should wash it, though. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Kofi.com for uh, new zines and stickers comics and prints. I also still have a lot of the Little Catacorn prints and I have a new print run of the Forest Spirit prints. So I'll have a link to my Kofi shop down in the description as well as a link to where you can find out how you can join the zine and sticker clubs or the print club. I'll have links to all of that down in the description. So there's a lot of stuff happening in the next couple of months. I hope that you stick around to see all of it happening. I'll try to keep y'all posted as best as I can here on the YouTube channel. Um, but honestly, the best way to keep up to date with me for free, keep in mind this is free, best way to keep up with me is the email newsletter or just checking in at thelegendofjamieroberts.com. Links to both in the description as well. Because, like, if it gets real busy, I might have to pause YouTube uploads. I don't anticipate that happening. But if it gets to that point, we'll see. We'll see. Um, hopefully it doesn't get to that point, though. Anyway, do all the YouTube stuff. That's all I got for now. Thanks so much for watching. You are awesome.